This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Welcome to Monday. Uh, on Mondays I try to kind of give a guitar lesson on some sort of lick type thing. Today it's one I think by Paul Castelluto. I must have seen this on Instagram maybe in 2015, 2016. Something I took down, something close to this at least. Uh, I, it may have changed over the years but it's one that I, I kind of wanted to share with you because I thought it's a really cool thing to play over kind of altered chords if you've got an altered chord that lasts for a long enough time to do this, or if you can play it fast enough. Please, uh, if you're finding this sort of stuff useful, leave a like, leave a comment. At the moment, I don't get much chance to reply to comments because I'm trying to film lots of videos for the impending child. Um, but yeah, the tabs and back and track will go up on Patreon. Um, and if you're not subscribed already and you like to see this sort of thing, on YouTube from me, uh, feel free to subscribe. Let's jump in. So we're gonna not, not gonna dwell too much on the theory here, but this vamp, we're thinking about C minor. And then at the end of the vamp, we've got this G altered kind of chord. And one of the things with an altered chord is that you can play the melodic minor scale starting from one step above. Or you can think about it as the altered scale starting on G. Now you can look online for other lessons on what all of that means if you'd like to, but we're thinking about the altered scale, which is made up of the same notes as the melodic minor. If you started one fret above your altered chord, uh, that's just a like, quick kind of way to describe it. Okay, so what this is going to be doing is a lot of three note per string stuff and a lot of sliding. So we're going to start here. So you start a minor third away from wherever your altered chord is. And that's what we get on our first string. So six, three, four, three, five. And then we go on to the next string. So you slide up here. Six, three, four, six, seven, four, six, eight. And then on this D string, we get a five, eight, six, five. So that would be kind of like chunk one. And also, two notes this lick will happen before the beat. One. So we get up to this D string. So once we've done five, eight, six, five, then start again. 
with our A flat melodic minor, but starting here on the sixth fret. So we then go six, eight, nine, six, eight, ten, and then eight, eleven, nine, eight. So again, that would be kind of chunk one and two together. And then our last kind of chunk, nine, 11, seven, 11, nine, seven, 11, nine, eight, 10, 8, 9, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we resolve onto uh, a chord tone of C minor here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, the smaller chunks. And then and okay. Okay, and what I did say was that we're kind of viewing this off of our altered chord. So if you can find any altered chord on this kind of E string, then we can apply the lick here right so we're going now from a7 to d minor and this would be the next thing that i would do or maybe do whilst you're trying to get the speed of the lick up so this would be to c sharp minor so uh, and then also think about for me i'm visualizing this as a uh, a melodic minor kind of thing. And then back to C minor. So now I'm viewing it as like a G sharp melodic minor thing. The other really cool thing that you could do with this, so just gradually increase the tempo. Um, if we start the lick up here instead, one, two, three, four. This kind of thing, which also works over our G altered. One, two, three, four. and then resolves onto the 12th fret. I'll put that in the tab as well. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So then you've got kind of two options. So that one is starting from the, the actual uh, tritone above. So starting from a, I'm viewing that as a C sharp there. Or this one. Two really cool legato licks that hopefully could get you some cool sounds over like a fusion vamp. And something I'm trying to get back into my playing. So hopefully that was vaguely interesting. As I say, the tabs and backing track will go up on Patreon if you want those. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.